Okay, so let's get some uh, more practical knowledge of the service. So for image classification, you're gonna upload multiple images and apply a single or multiple labels to the entire image. So here I have a bunch of images uploaded and then I have my tags over here uh, and they could either be multi or singular. For object detection, you apply tags to objects in an image for data labeling and you hover uh, your cursor over the image. Custom Vision uses ML to show bound, uh, bounding boxes of possible objects that have not yet been labeled. If it does not detect it, you can also just click and drag to draw out whatever square you want. So here's one where I tagged it up quite a bit. You have to have at least 50 images on every tag to train. Uh, so just be aware of that when you are tagging your images. Uh, when you're training, your model is ready when you uh, and you have two options. So you have quick training, this trains quickly, but it will be less accurate. You have advanced training, this increases compute time to improve your results. So for advanced training, basically you just have this thing that you move to the right. Uh, with each iteration of training, our ML model will improve the evaluation metrics, so precision and recall. It's going to vary, and we're going to talk about the metrics here in a moment, but the probability threshold value determines when to stop training, when our evaluation metric meets our desired threshold. So these are just additional options where when you're training, you can move this left to right, uh, and these left to right, okay? Uh, and then when we get our results back, uh, we're going to get um, some metrics here, so... Uh, we have evaluation metrics, so we have precision, being exact and accurate, selects items that are relevant, recall such sensitivity, or known as true positive rate, how many relevant items returned, average precision. It's important that you remember these because they might ask you that on the exam. So for uh, when we're looking at object detection and we're looking at the evaluation metric outcomes for this one, we have precision, recall, and mean average precision. Uh, once we've deployed our pipeline, it makes sense that we go ahead and give it a quick test to make sure it's working correctly. So you press the click, quick test button and you can upload your image and it will tell you, so this one says it's Wharf. Uh, when you're ready to publish, you just hit the publish button and then you'll get uh, some uh, uh, prediction URL and information so you can invoke it. Uh, one other feature that's kind of useful is the smart labeler. So once you've loaded some training data within, it can now make suggestions, right? So you can't do this right away, but once it has some data, it's like it's like kind of a prediction that is not 100% guaranteed, right? And it just helps you build up your training uh, data set a lot faster. Uh, very useful if you have a very large data set. This is known as ML-assisted labeling, okay?